Hello everybody, welcome to part 10 on how to build your own solar panel. Well, I went ahead and drilled out my centerpiece here and just took a hacksaw and uh, cut out the, the little ends there. So now the, the wires have plenty of room to move around. So now I will be attaching the frame together. Uh, I went to, uh, I believe, Lowe's the other day and bought a, a few of these and these will be on my middle section here. And these are a three by three and I think these were just under three dollars and I also bought a, a few packages of these. These will be on my corners and I believe it's the same price. Um, just under three dollars and this was three inch by half inch Stanley. I, you can probably find them cheaper, but I just grabbed the first ones I could find. Um, so, a couple things. These packages do come with these uh, little screws here. and the, the screws work fine for interior stuff, but I tried these on the outside and they like rust out really quick. So I will be using these one and a quarter inch uh, exterior screws. They seem to work really well. I've had them outside for quite a while, never had any problem with them. Uh, in the past, when I was less experienced on these, I used to use drywall screws. And those things, you might get a year out of them if it's not too rainy. Uh, but then, as soon as you go to remove it, they just snap, rust out. They're, they're not good, so um, try to use the exterior ones. They, that's what they're made for, and they seem to work pretty well. Okay, so let's get started on uh, attaching the uh, bracket. Okay, so before I start drilling this, uh, give you a word to the wise. Um, make sure you have this on the outside, because I'm going to drill some pilot holes first, and you definitely don't want to drill like here, and you're going to go right through your panel, which is not going to help you at all. So make sure you go on the outside, and I actually left this open for... Um, just just for this application so I could tell exactly where the, the glass was because it's in the, the back of the slot here. And because um, I don't want to drill along here and go through the glass and that either. So definitely go on the outside and make sure you're going away from the, the glass. So I'm just going to go ahead and drill a pilot hole and that will show you. Okay, so you drill your pilot hole and just screw that in there. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm going to stop rolling, go ahead and get all the sides in the middle. Uh, but this is pretty basic, So, but I just thought I would show you the tip of make sure you don't go on the inside because you, you drill through your glass and that's it's not good. You got to start all over. So, okay. Okay. So I went ahead and attached all my brackets. On the front, I put them on the, the very edge, and in the back, I put them more along the uh, the center, uh, making sure I didn't definitely uh, get into the glass. And I left these empty because when I stick the uh, the little uh, filler block that I would stick on the four ends here. Uh, I'll attach that uh, to there. Uh, a few things I forgot to mention. Uh, when I mentioned I was drilling a pilot hole, the reason why I was drilling a pilot hole, you uh, take a drill bit that's smaller than the screw you're putting in there, drill a hole in there, and then just uh, attach your, uh, put your screw in. Otherwise, if you just went to put your screw in, it's probably going to split the wood crack it, a uh, chunk might break off, and you're out of luck on that, so you'd have to start all over. And um, so in the front I have four brackets, one in each corner, and on the back here I did the, the two center ones, and this is on there pretty good, and then one on each end. And I also staggered them from where I put these ones in the front, so the screws wouldn't actually hit each other. So, 
where I'm going to go from now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut my uh, little pieces of wood, I need four of them, and stick those in the end and then go ahead and attach the screws in there, seal them up. Alright, so what I needed was a three quarter inch by five eighths inch piece of uh, wood there. So I took some of the the scrap that I left over out of my two by four, which is quite a bit left actually, and just uh, used a table saw, ripped a chunk out, three quarter, and then I made my five eighths inch cut. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is take this piece, just insert it in there, uh, go ahead and put my uh, pile hole through there. Okay, so now it should be here that way. Go ahead and put my screw in here. And now what I'm doing is just take a hacksaw and I'm not going to do the whole thing. Well, this is pretty quick. Okay, well I guess it was quicker than I thought it was going to be. Uh, and I might have to sand it, it's not exactly uh, flush on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on all four sides and that's going to plug up the holes there. Okay, so for you. So I went ahead and filled all the all the holes with my extra piece of leftover wood here. And the reason why I left it long, because it is a very tight fit, so I could force it in there uh, to where it was touching the glass and then cut it off. And it's uh, in there pretty tight. And I went ahead and did all the sides on that. Uh, so now, what I'm going to do, I have a I think a couple minutes left in the video, so I'm going to start telling you about the uh, blocking diode and how we're going to set that up. Okay, so the uh, blocking diode, I went to Radio Shack and bought two epoxy rectifier uh, diodes. These are the biggest ones I had, and these are 3 amp and 400 PIV, and it comes two in a package, and the price that seems to be sticking on the top of my head is a dollar fifty-four, but I'm not exactly sure. But I do believe they're under two dollars anyway. So I bought a couple packs because they're just so cheap. And anyway, you only need one. And to house the blocking diode, I actually had to think about it. Uh, walk around a lot of stores, uh, brainstorming, and what I came up with is a plain old traveling soap dish here. Uh, this one I got at a uh, Walgreens around two dollars and the blocking diode fits really nice in there so it's uh, pretty good and it's pretty tight seal and I also found some at a uh, Walmart for 97 cents this one is more of a, a flip top but uh, so I'll be using those and unfortunately I don't have a lot of time left in this video and uh, so I will have to continue on with the blocking diode in the next video. So um, the next video will just go from there and uh, show you how to attach it, how to install it, and uh, we'll be good to go. Alright, as always, uh, thank you for watching the video. Take care and God bless.